Hello guys, welcome back to the Debug Arena. In today's video, I'm going to show how we can make a live streaming app in React.js using a platform known as Zego Cloud. Zego Cloud is a platform which provides us free video and chat API so that we can integrate this type of difficult feature in our application with just few lines of code. You know what, if we sit down and try to make this type of video calling or live streaming application from scratch, it will take lot of effort, also it is time consuming, but Zego Cloud provide the solution for this and they provide SDK kit through which we can integrate this type of feature with just 10 to 20 lines of code. Yeah, you heard it right. Just 10 to 20 lines of code and the main feature will be integrated in your app. So first, let's do the setup of React.js and then I will show how we can integrate Zego Cloud SDK kit in our React.js application. Okay, you can see here, this is my React project. I have created it just now and inside my package.json, you can see that I am using the React version 18.3.1. Now in this the first step will be to set up our route for that what I will do I will just go here stop my server and let's install one package name as react router dom so I will write this command npm i react router dom at the rate latest so that I will get the latest version let's wait for it to finish okay it is done and you can see here react router dom is successfully installed now what I will do I will go to my app.js I will remove this code which is the basic layout and here I will try to integrate our routing. So the first thing we have to import is browser router which will be imported from react router dom. Inside that we have to set up the routes. So I will write here routes and it should also be imported from react router dom. I hope you know about the routing if not then you can check out my previous videos. And after this here I will pass route inside the route the first thing will be our default route for default route we just pass it like this. And here I can pass my element which will be one of my component and for now I am not having any component so what I will do I will come here and let's create one component which will be home.js so I will come here and let me just create a basic layout for home.js and you can see here I have created my default home and I'm, I have exported it now I will come to app.js and I will pass it here home which is my component okay this is done after that i will create another component which will be room.js let me create the basic layout for this also so i will just copy this come here paste that copy the home control d control d control d and i will write room okay this is also done i will save this i will come here and i can just copy this here i will pass room for now and my component will be room Okay, now we will go to home. At home, we have to create some input boxes. So here at home, the user will enter his name. After that, he will enter a unique room ID. Also, he will specify whether he is a host or audience. So why do we want role here? We want role here because if we didn't distinguish between the host and the audience, then everybody will have the same right. Like everybody can share the screen, everybody can share the video. So there will be no sense in live streaming. So while implementing live streaming, we will have to assign a role to each user joining the call so that only the host can share the screen. So that's why we have to define the role. So now what I will do, I will come here and I will just remove this and I will write join our room. After this, I will create an input box to take the name. I will add br here so that there will be some space. After this, I will create one input which will take a room ID. Here you can uh, create a function to generate a random room ID but for now I am keeping it as manual. You can style this however you want. I am not focusing on styling here. Now I will create one div here and inside div I will create two radio buttons. So I will write here input type will be radio and value will be host. Let's create another and its value will be audience. Okay, let me just wrap this inside label. Okay and inside label i will remove this i will put it inside label and here i can write host same thing i will do here also and i will write here audience so this is good after this div i will create one button which will take us to the room page so here i will write join room okay done now let's check the output so i will come here and you can see this is my output now here user will enter the name room ID and select its role and then he can join the room directly. So now I will come here and now let's create the state to store these values. So first I will create the state as name comma set name 
after this I will create for role and role by default will be audience and at last I will create for room ID then I will come to this enter your name I will write here on change and on change I will accept the E and I will set name to E dot target dot value so in this way we can get the data from the input same thing I will do for room ID so I will write here now for radio button we have to pass one extra thing here which is checked so that radio button would be checked and for checked we have to pass one condition so our condition will be if role is equal equals to host then only this radio button will be checked also here I will pass on change and I can set the role same thing I will do for this audience also so I will write here checked and the condition will be checked based on if role is triple equals to I will directly set this audience and also I will write here on change okay this is done I am storing all the data to my state now let's create a function which will be called on join room so I will come here and I will create a function here on click of join room we are going to navigate to this room component so I will give function name as navigate to room and for navigation what I will do I will come here and let's create a variable name as navigate which will be using use navigate hook provided by react router dom and then I will call this navigate variable and in this we can pass the route so here I will pass first room okay we have to go to room but we have to take some data also so the our first data will be room ID and we can pass that like this in this I will pass room ID now along with room ID I also have to pass two things which is name and role for that I will come here and I will create this state okay and this data will be passed to the navigation so first thing will be name and which will be taking name and the second thing is role like this role okay this is done I will save this I will copy this navigate to room I will come here and uh, on click I will call that function now we first have to go to app.js and here after room we have to add this room ID as we are passing it as param so we have to add it here otherwise it will not work then I will go to room.js and now let's try to access that data so first to access the room ID we can access it directly through room ID this is already destructuring and I am destructuring from our params using use params a hook provided by react and for other two data we can take a help of another hook name as use location so I will write here use location will be imported from react router dom and then I will again destructure here and my name is name role like my variable name are name and role and that I will get from location dot state okay and if they are null then I will pass null then I will come here and instead of this h1 first I will show room id okay not like this inside this then I will show my name and then I will show my role this is just to check whether I am getting the data or not let's check my output I will come here let's enter the name which will be adarsh room id 867 and this is host join room and you can see I am getting my data here now all the setup in react is done now let's go to zego cloud and generate our app id and secret key and let's integrate its sdk totally for free to access zego cloud you can go to google and search for zegocloud.com zego cloud is a platform that provides us voice video and chat api and sdk kit so that we can integrate this complex feature in our application with just little effort and few lines of code like you can see here they provide video call voice call AI SDK and many much more thing so that we can easily integrate this feature in our application not only this they provide us option to integrate this SDK and API in any of the mentioned languages I think they have covered almost all the languages so if you want to use the services of Zego cloud you don't require credit card you can directly come here and sign up and for the free tire they provide us 10,000 free minutes of services and I think that's great and enough so now if you are here for the first time you can go and sign up I have already signed up so I will go to login and, 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 and let me first log in and I am logged in 
now here first we have to create a new project so we can click on this create your project and here i will select this live streaming you can explore any of the services provided by them i will click on this next here i will give my project name which is live streaming okay i will just scroll down and here we have to use that ui kit so i will click on that it will take some time let's wait for it to finish and it is done now here i will select this web because we are developing for react js here you can do all the settings and i will click on save and start to integrate now here it is showing me demo but i don't want to show the demo so i will just go back then i will go to my project which is live streaming app here you can see my app is created and this is my app id and this is my server secret these two will be required to integrate the sdk so now what i will do i will go to this view my guide open the link in new tab and here we will check the documentation where they have mentioned each and every step beautifully then i will go to this using npm package manager so the first thing to integrate zego cloud is that we have to run this command so i will copy this then i will open my cmd okay i will stop the server i will paste that okay it is done now i will just scroll down and here you can see this is the code to integrate live streaming feature in our application so first let me just explain you here they are importing the zego ui kit pre-built so i will just copy this i will go to my room.js and and i will paste it here we are going to do copy and paste because the code is already written but i will explain you here they are generating the random id and they are generating the random name and the random room id but in our case we are getting that from the parent so no use of this but if you want to use this function you can use here they are just getting the url from params and all we have already done this then inside the app they are generating room id and then here role this is also done in our case after that here they have written one condition so i will copy that condition go to our room.js and let's paste that condition so here role is already exist so here i will just pass role condition and also in our case our role is not role str it is only role so i will pass role here so here what it is stating that if my role is host then it will assign as host inside zego cloud ui kit otherwise it will check for co-host but in our case co-host doesn't exist so i will remove this so now if role is host then it will make it as host otherwise it will make it as audience not make it treat it as host or audience now i will go to the documentation and here they are creating the shared link so let me also create that then i will explain you so here you can see i have created this shared link which is stating name join as audience and this is the url so whenever i want someone to join the room i will share this and here i am not passing anything so it will treat this as audience only because we have set the default as audience after this i will again go to documentation and yeah this part is also done shared link and all then we have to copy all of this thing i will come here paste that here we have to pass our app id for that i will go to my zego cloud this is my app id so i will copy that come here and paste that so app id will be number and this will be in string so secret i will uh, paste it here but i will not show it to you guys and here inside the kit token we have to pass our app id secret key room id so our room id is not this our room id is this then here we have to pass our name so this should not be random here i will pass name and this i think we can skip so i will just remove this and see we are getting error no it's fine okay this is also done now i will again go here go to documentation and let's copy the last div which is let meeting then i will come here and let's paste it here so here i am creating the meeting like these are my configuration inside this kit token so here inside zego ui pre-built i am creating the meeting with the configuration taken from kit token and this is a join room where i have mentioned that my mode is live streaming so that only a host can share and uh, do everything and config will be based on role okay not role here we have to pass role condition okay like this thing cool and here i am passing the shared links now i will again go to documentation scroll down and we have to copy this and paste it inside our main div so i will do that here i am giving the reference to my meeting and this is to set 
height and width now i will save this okay before going to check the output what we have to do we have to enter our secret key also before this name now we have to pass user id which should be unique for that we want that random generate function so i will come here i will go to our documentation and let's copy this random id generator function come to this page paste it before the room okay then come here and before the name just pass here random id and in this pass 5 because it should be a 5 also here you can see that i am assigning name and role but what if there is no name or no role so we have to assign us some default value so if there is no name then i will pass guest otherwise in role i am going to pass it as audience okay done okay now just one more thing that we have to go down and here we are passing role condition but it should ideally be object so it should be assigned to role then role condition now it should work fine now i will assign my secret key and then i will check the output i will reload the application here i will enter the name which is numman give random room id click on the host click on the join room here it will ask you for the permission of camera and microphone i am not allowing camera for now also i am just switching off this microphone and this layout we are getting directly from zego cloud sdk like we didn't made this and this number is getting from the parent like this is the name and this is the link so the shared link which we have created is the same so from here we can copy this and share it with the audience now i will click on this join button and you can see here i am inside the video call also here i am getting a tons of option to share my screen to change the layout also to see the participant and the messages so for now what i will do i will just open the new instance okay and we have given the default name as guest so it is taking it as guest now i'll click on this join button and you can see i am inside the call but here i am not getting any option other than chat and leaving this it is because i am audience now what i will do i will just go live from here this button this button is to go live and in live i am just going to broadcast my entire screen i am not going to open my video then the moment i come here you can see that naman is presenting the screen and i can just do the chatting so here i am just writing hi and then i will go to this instance and you can see here i'm getting two participants and here i'm getting the messages and i can just reply back so in this way we can easily create this live streaming app through zego cloud in react.js with just few lines of code and we can customize almost each and everything i hope you have understand each and every part of the video and if you are not able to do this then please let me know in comments i will try to help you thank you for watching the video